In Premiere Pro, if you sync many different cameras and audio to time code, you may be familiar with a timeline that looks something like this. Now, personally, I don't think anybody got time for that. So in this tutorial, I want to show you how to multi-cam sync in Premiere Pro and get every single camera on a specific track with the click of a button when you do do a proper multi-cam sequence sync. Recently, I was fortunate enough to be an editor on some sports doc specials for Fox, CBS, and ABC. And this technique alone saved me days of organizing in the edit. And we could turn around our edits faster for those extremely tight deadlines. So I hope what I've learned can help you exponentially in the future. Let's go ahead and dive into Premiere Pro. In this example, I'm going to be syncing to time code a whole day's worth of footage from four separate red cameras, as well as two audio people. Everyone was running off the same time code, so hopefully this is a great example to showcase how quick this technique works. I like dragging in my files from the media browser inside Premiere Pro. If you wanna learn how to import red files specifically into Premiere Pro the correct way, you can check out my video here in the corner. Once everything's in the project bin, I like to get rid of any subfolders and move all clips directly up the hierarchy to underneath either A, B, C, or D cam folders. So if you were to click on the A cam folder, all of the footage from that day from A cam is right there. There's no clips buried underneath any other subfolders. This next part is the most important part, but could get overlooked by most editors because we have to utilize the metadata display window and assigning a camera label to our clips. So I'm gonna highlight all of the clips in my A cam folder, go up to help and in the search bar, I'm gonna start typing in meta and then I'm gonna go click metadata to bring up the metadata display window. In that display window, I'm gonna click on the three bars next to the word metadata to bring up the sub menu and scroll down to metadata display. In the search bar of this window, we're gonna type in the words camera label. Underneath dynamic media, we're going to turn on camera label. Let me rearrange and make my project bin a little bit bigger so you can understand what's going on. Now in the metadata display, there's two ways that you can get to camera label. The first way is if you were to go to this little search bar in the metadata display window and type in the words camera label, that will bring it up underneath dynamic media. The other way is to physically uncheck dynamic media and scroll down to camera label. With all of my A cam clips highlighted in the project bin, I'm going to assign the camera label A to them. Now, whenever I click on any of those clips in the project bin, they will automatically have the metadata of camera label A assigned to them. I'm going to repeat this process for cam B. So highlight all of the clips underneath cam B and type in B in the camera label metadata display. And just to show you, all of these clips now have the camera label B metadata attached to them. I repeat the process for cameras C and D, and we will also need to assign a camera label to our audio to make sure that that is on a separate track as well. And I like to assign the letter Z to my audio because most of the time you're not going to have that many cameras going up to the letter Z. Now I'm going to minimize all of my camera and sound folders, highlight them all, right click and scroll down to create multi-camera source sequence. Up top, you can retitle the name of the sequence, but the main thing we wanna make sure is checked off here is synchronization point by time code, and then create single multi-cam source sequence and have the track assignments by camera label. Now we're gonna be able to have that single track per camera because we did everything in the metadata beforehand. The last thing that's up to you is whether you want to move your source clips into a specific processed bin or not. I choose not to move them into the bin because I've already done all the work to organize my clips into the specific cameras in my project bin. Hit OK, and within a couple seconds, we've now created a multicam sequence with everything synced by time code. In the project bin, I'm going to right click my multicam sequence, scroll down to open in timeline, and there you have a beautiful timeline of all of your video and audio clips synced to time code with each camera that you labeled on its separate track. Now, everything's not perfect with this technique. One of the hiccups that a lot of you will encounter is if you have a cameraman that is switching between recording in real time and then recording slow-mo footage, the slow-mo footage on that track will have the correct start time in the time code. But the problem is that the slow-mo will overlap into other clips, as you can see right here with this footage that I imported a couple days ago. 
Also, if you were using a camera that wasn't synced to the external timecode, you'll probably just end up with a stack of files at the beginning of your sequence like this. But going back to our first example, if you want to check how things are synced in the timeline by just a visual representation, you can go up to the program monitor, right click, and we're going to turn on overlays. Now we can reference what the timecode of all of the specific clips underneath the playhead at that specific point are in accordance to what the timecode is showing us on the Premiere Pro timeline. If something's a little off, it may be because there has been some drift throughout the day in the timecode, or maybe there was just something else wonky going on. But this does give you a great starting point visually on whether things are in sync, near sync, or precisely to timecode. Another thing to point out is that the sequence that we've generated does not start at the timecode of zero. It actually starts at whatever the first clip's timecode was. So if you want to change that, you can go to the sequence on your timeline, click the three bars, and then click start time. Here is where you could change the start time of your sequence. If you're working with a team of editors and it's your responsibility to sync the day's footage, just like I've shown you, and you need to pass off that Premiere Pro project file to the rest of your team, let me show you what I would do. In order to share your sequence with the rest of your team, highlight that sequence in the project bin, go to file, export, selection as Premiere Pro project. And now you are saving a Premiere Pro project file that will open up and only have that synced sequence in it along with all of the clips that are associated with that sequence. If this tutorial was helpful for you, could you leave me a thumbs up on the video? I do video tech tutorials and gear reviews on this channel. And if you're into that kind of stuff, you could hit the subscribe button or you could click on another video. Preferably you could do both. All right, until next episode, hope you're out there living a life of abundance.